Although analyzing data would be easier if all data were structured, that is just not the case. You will find a lot of structured data in different repositories, but you'll also find data that either has loose structure or maybe even no structure. Another term for loosely structured data is semi-structured. Semi-structured data is information that has some structure, but which allows for some variation between instances. Here's an example of semi-structured data expressed in a format called JSON. JavaScript Object Notation, or JSON, is a very common format used to exchange data between applications. When interacting with today's distributed environments, it is common to see JSON being used to exchange data between distributed application components. The biggest difference between structured and semi-structured data is that with structured data, each instance or row must contain the same attributes or columns as every other instance. Recall that each row in a table has all of the same columns of other rows. With semi-structured data, the attributes can change from one instance to another. Look at the customers in this JSON example. You see two customers. The first customer instance includes a telephone number and an email address, while the second customer only has an email address. In a structured format, the second customer would have blank data, but a semi-structured format allows an instance to only specify data that is present. The difference may not look like much, but any variation between instances can cause headaches for automated analysis processes. When dealing with semi-structured data, you must consider all of the potential attributes in your data set.